Hi folks, welcome to this week's Lake Fork Report. Today's September 9th, uh, we're only a few days away from the McDonald's tournament on Lake Fork. Lots of folks coming to the lake, so this is an important report. Well, this time of the year is a challenging time of the year on Lake Fork due to the fact of the water qualities changing this time of the year. Now we've already put one hurricane behind us and those five days of no sun and lots of rain really cooled off the surf surface temperature of the lake. And what that does is it creates turnover. Well, during the turnover periods, uh, bass can get a little finicky. So keep an eye out for brown bubbles, brown water. Um, if you're in that area, you might want to adjust and kind of get towards green. The grass water. has really come back over uh, since we had the drought uh, two years ago, the lake was down five or six foot deep, and uh, when you draw down a lake or you get a, a dry couple of years like that, what it does is it takes the uh, the muck, uh, the the ground that's been under the water for so long, and it's it's lost its uh, nutrients and its uh, oxygen carrying capabilities or uh, you know growing capabilities. The plants have used up all the um, ground. Well, you get that drawdown, and that that muck dries up, and it renews the renews, renews the dirt. It's like replanting a, a, an old field. You know, you throw some nitrogen in or something, and uh, you know that's why this hydrilla is coming back so good. You can catch them shallow, and you can still catch them deep. So play your strengths. Um, I know the lake's going to be real crowded. Uh, try to work through your areas and uh, just keep the mindset that there's fish everywhere on Lake Fork and I can catch them wherever I where I might end up. A in the morning I'm using a popper. Uh, little poppers, little shad poppers are really good this time of year. They're chasing some shad and this is what's catching them. The popper and uh, a Texas rig worm. Uh, traditionally a lot of fish are caught, big fish are caught during the McDonald's on a worm. Uh, up to the 10, 12 inch worms, this is an eight inch worm, but I'm throwing the popper and the worms in the shallower water. And uh, then the large grass jig, this is the Black Angel barfish color jig with a Grande Bass green pumpkin trailer. This thing looks great in the water. Um, I've caught a couple slot fish on it, haven't caught a lot of fish, I just got it. Uh, I've probably had it in the boat for uh, two days out on the on the lake. So, um, those are the shallow water deals. And the deep water fish, there's still plenty of deep water fish out there. Uh, Sunday we caught uh, over 20 fish deep, uh, like 28 foot deep. And uh, some of the larger ones came on a football head, quarter ounce football head jig with a grande bass, rattlesnake, um, it's almost like a shaky head, but it's not. It's a football head jig. And boy, does this thing have action. They love it. Um, now, the killer way we caught most of our fish the last uh, two or three trips has been I've lightened up on a Carolina rig. You can go and graft these fish and some of the bigger lures aren't catching them, but what I've done is really lightened up. I've even gone to a, a 10 pound leader with a Grande Bass baby rattlesnake. This thing is thumping those one, two, three pound fish, which are the money fish on uh, McDonald's besides the overs. But uh, if, you're, if you're around a bunch of fish and you're wondering why they won't bite, just try downsizing. It really put a lot of fish in the boat uh, this previous week. So uh, the smaller bait, 10 pound line, I, I went down on the hook size, um, really catches a lot of the one to three pounders. So. Good luck to everyone that's fishing the McDonald's tournament this week. Uh, I will be at the registration Friday selling the new Boat Lanes chip. So if you uh, want to look into that, stop by Lake Fork Marina Friday. And until next time, good fishing. I'm Lance Vick.